Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about geometric sequences and series. So recall from our prior discussion on arithmetic sequences and series, that what defines an arithmetic sequence is that the difference between consecutive terms is going to be constant. Well, in a geometric sequence, the uh, ratio between consecutive terms is going to be constant. So let's talk about a geometric sequence. In a geometric sequence, the ratio of any term to the previous term is constant. So remember that it's the term to the previous term is going to be constant. And I'll give you an example in just a second to demonstrate that what I mean by term to previous term is constant. And also, that constant term or constant ratio is called the common ratio, and it's denoted by the letter R. So let's take an example. If I have uh, several terms, 1, then 3, then 9, Twenty-seven and eighty-one. So remember that in a geometric sequence, the ratio between a term and its preceding term is constant. So that ratio here, three to one, nine to three, twenty-seven to nine, eighty-one to twenty-seven, that ratio is going to be three. That ratio is not one term to the subsequent term. So that ratio does not equal one-third. And this is a common mistake that many students make. The ratio is one term to the preceding term. So my ratio is going to be equal to 3. And that common ratio, or constant ratio, is what we call R. So a geometric sequence rule, now remember the sequence is just the terms 1, 3, 9, 27, 81 in order is going to be a sub n, which is the last or the nth term in the sequence, which is equal to the first term times the common ratio to the power of that nth term minus 1. So let's take this case again. If I wanted to write a rule, it would be a sub n is equal to a sub 1, which is going to be 1, to my common ratio, which is 3, to the n minus 1, or just a sub n is equal to 3 to the n minus 1. Okay. So again, the geometric sequence rule, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1, where a sub n is the last of the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, and r is your common ratio of a term to the preceding term. Now remember the difference between sequence and series. A sequence the terms 1, 3, 9, 27, 81. My series is going to be the sum of those terms. 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 27 plus 81. So your formula for a geometric series is going to be the sum of n terms is equal to the first term times 1 minus the common ratio to the n or the number of terms in the sequence over 1 minus the ratio. Okay, So let's use that formula in our prior example. So I have S sub n is equal to A sub 1, which is going to be 1, times 1 minus R, which is the common ratio of 3 to the n over 1 minus the common ratio. So now I want to find out I've got five terms, right? 1, 3, 9, 27, 81. I have S sub 5 is equal to 1 times 1 minus 3 to the fifth over 1 minus 3. And I use my trusted calculator to find out what 3 to the fifth is. And I find out 3 to the fifth is equal to 243. So now I have, and we'll just get rid of this because we don't need this here anymore. S sub 5 is equal to 1 minus 243. 3 to the 5th is 243. So minus 242 over negative 2, which is equal to 121. So that's the sum 
uh, the terms in a sequence where my common ratio is 3 and my first term is 1.